So today we're working on this 86 G170, but it's an 8670, and uh, every time we turn to the right, it sprays hydraulic fluid. So we came under here and we saw that we've got a hydraulic line that is leaking where it rubbed through on the frame. So we've got to unhook that one. And thankfully, I thought maybe it went right to the orbital motor up there, but it doesn't. It, it makes, it goes under the cab floor. It makes a loop. So thankfully, we pulled the rubber mat out, which you'd think would be a simple process, but it took me a little while. A lot. It's pretty heavy. It's built well. And then we took the, the floor pan off, and there's, I don't know what there is, eight bolts or eight little bolts that take that off. And then you can easily get to that hydraulic line. So we're going to pop that sucker loose and take it in and get a new one made. And then we'll be hopefully back in order here, put everything back together. But it's uh, at least halfway easy to get to once you get everything tore apart, which is kind of the story of always working on equipment. It seems like it always makes sense to tear the thing off that's in the way instead of trying to bend a wrench or do whatever to get back behind something. So, see, it's cold out. We're 12 degrees or something with snow. We've got the new hose kind of routed. It just connects right here. And we just got a regular hose made in town. It goes under the cab floor, down behind the filter, and then straight down across the top of the four wheel drive shield. And then you can just see through there the T that goes into the cylinders on the other side. Not too bad of a job. Take about an hour so far. So we're on the other side of the tractor and we just jammed a piece of uh, towel so that it doesn't get dirty. So we don't get any dirt in the new hose. Any dirt, it's a bad deal in the hydraulic system. The hose is on, we got her all set back up and we ran it and it all looks pretty good. No leaks. So we should be able to put the floor back in and put her all back together and be ready to go.